Hi, and uh, welcome to another shave. I was not planning to uh, make a video today, but everything was set up, and uh, uh, on the spur of the moment, I decided to use uh, this, the Captain's Choice Bay Rum, which is uh, uh, an oldie but a goodie for me. Um, this is what the soap looks like, uh, and it's a it's an older style soap base, but I don't typically have a problem with it. Um, I'll show you the other the other parts of the shave as as we go along. The um, brush today is a um, Captain's Choice. Here, let's see if I can. Uh, there you go, Captain's Choice. Uh, yep. Captain's Choice. I wanted to make sure it was right side up. Uh, synthetic. Um, so almost a completely um, Captain's Choice uh, selection today or setup today. Um, I'll be using the um, Cat of Nine Tails uh, uh, alcohol splash which uh, I like a lot, but um, it is strong in the alcohol department. And uh, if you're not familiar, I mean, I've used alcohol splashes forever, so they don't bother me. But um, if you have sensitive skin or a skin problem, uh, or you're not familiar with alcohol splashes, then uh, this might not be for you. And I'm not sure if I've picked up enough soap in the brush, so we're going to figure that out pretty quickly. This is an afternoon shave. So uh, I need to make sure that the whiskers are wet. I have some sharpening I'm going to do. I'm going to make, actually I'm going to not be sharpening straight razors later. I'll be sharpening Kampf blades, blades that go in Kampf, a Kampf lather catcher razor. They're made to be sharpened and they come with a little sharpening attachment so it's not a not unusual the blades are original blades and a lot of them are not in the greatest shape they look good but you know if you look closely you can see that unfortunately there's a little bit of pitting or the beginning of oxidation in just the wrong place. So I'm going to do the best I can with them. You can use a modern gem blade uh, in, a camp, in, a, in a Kampf razor. All right, let's see how this goes. Again, this is kind of an old style, old style base. light and fluffy. Today I'm using my number one Puma 89. I have two of these so that's why I call this one the number one. This one has a currently has a JNAT edge on it, a, a Zuku uh, done on my Zuku JNAT. Uh, and I'm planning, I have another one of these uh, and I am pl definitely planning to uh, change them up, change the edges up. I'm going to put a a uh, uh, Zulu gray um, edge on one of them. Uh, 
and then I'll put um, some slate edge on the other one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, so I'm not going to be able to call that. So that'll be coming up after I've got uh, the comfy blades or comfa blades, uh, which I'll be doing uh, over the next couple of nights, and then uh, and then um, I have some other razors coming in. And then after that, I can get to my own goofy razor projects. How are you all today? Hopefully, hopefully everybody is having, today is Monday the 21st of October. Beginning of the work week. So hopefully you're all doing well. I admit that uh, uh, when you don't work, it takes a while to sort of get used to doing nothing for a living. I liked I liked working so. Uh, I did consulting after I was done and then uh, decided that, you know, may maybe I should get creative and do something else. So now I do nothing for a living. I'm, I'm trying to do a good job of doing nothing. Love this scent. Bay rum, supposedly, and I don't, I'm not, I only know this through hearsay, but supposedly bay rum was in fact invented in the days of tall ships when, uh, you know, these were the square riggers that did, uh, were exploring, in the exploration phase of our history not ours, but the world's history. And uh, it was also a time when uh, sanitation was kind of optional. And uh, cleanliness was optional. So you had these uh, wooden ships, square riggers, manned that required a lot of men to sail. The rigging was complex, and um, uh, all these all these guys of varying ages lived, except for the captain. Um, the majority of the crew lived in the hold of the ship, 
And uh, since washing was optional, the stench was awful. Had to be awful. So the uh, rumor is that Bay Rum was was born out of that. The uh, daily grog that you hear about, um, people getting, sailors getting, that was rum. Or supposedly rum. And that was done to uh, keep them in line. Ocean sailing is, it's one thing if you do it willingly. But it's a, it's a completely different thing if you did it as a living and in order to get by. It's, it's, it can be incredibly scary because when things go wrong, they go really wrong. Uh, and, and it's unpredictable. What's going to happen and, and the chain of events that will follow that. So... Keeping, keeping the crew in line was important. And so that's where the whole daily, daily grog came about, <clears throat> that incentive. And so apparently they had, they had a lot of rum on hand. And to help with the uh, stench, they would put bay leaves and clove and rum. And these, the crew would occasionally splash that on. I, I'm guessing it was a body splash. I don't know. I've, I've heard all of this third hand, so I don't know whether, you know, whether I'm, whether I'm talking, whether this is any, any of this is true. But um, bay rum is typically pretty strong. Uh, as a scent. I, I love it. I've tried this one. Yeah, I've tried um, the Captain's Choice Bay Rum. And I've tried uh, Barrister and Mann's Bay Rum. I like this one much better. Not the soap base. Soap base is only okay here. But, you know, as you can see, I am miraculously able to shave. Um, um, so, um, even though it does not have the most voluptuous of, uh, Sorry about that. Um, volumes, you know, the, the lather does not have a huge, wonderful volume, and it's it's slick because I have it really wetted down. So even the part that you can't see here is, is slick. So, uh, yeah, I, I like the, uh, the strength of the Captain's Choice scent and the, whatever the, the, um, scent Whatever the scent profile of this uh, that makes it up, I, I like it a lot. Very strong, pungent, um, pretty cool stuff. Very good trade. I have not measured the um, Pumas. Um, 
The um, steel feels pretty stiff, uh, and it feels like a razor with a, maybe has a little bit of a higher, wider bevel angle, but uh, no no issues to adapt to it. So it's you know it's not 20 degrees. It's going to be somewhere less than 20 degrees, probably in the 17, 18 degree range. If you're starting to follow that, which uh, you know, it's just another data point, something for you to play with, something that I play with and have for a while. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let's get into the uh, the good stuff. As I said, if you have not used Cat of Nine Tails, uh, this is uh, this is a pretty strong alcohol splash. Um, nothing different from. Um, for old guys, it's not surprising. It's nothing different from old style, old spice. Oh, that feels so good. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm. This, this is nostalgic to have a a nice alcohol splash. No burning. You can feel. I can feel the the alcohol drying rapidly um, and that there's a there's a feeling to that that you get from an alcohol splash wonderful scent on cat of nine tails okay i uh, just i just pressed record as usual i uh, hope you enjoyed that i'll be seeing you for some uh honing uh coming up uh, uh feel free to leave comments and i'll see you in the next one bye